The 73rd season of Formula 1 will soon start, and rumors about the new Mario Kart are on the rise, so what better way to celebrate both with a crossover video? F1 and MK are rich of fast, awesome, unique and exceptional circuits, and in today's video we'll put them in the same calendar, and compare all 23 Grand Prix to Mario Kart tracks. Without further ado, let's get started! Kicking off the 2022 season of Formula 1, we have Bahrain with her famous secure circuit, known for her steep and numerous curves that give quite a challenge for the racers. The best counterpart for Sakir in the Mario Kart franchise is Bone Dry Ruins for the Special Cup of Mario Kart 8. The circuit has a similar challenge to Bahrain and of course it shares the desert theme that defines the coastal Middle Eastern country. Next up is Saudi Arabia's Jeddah circuit, which is introduced in the Formula 1 world. This track is known to be a Monaco, 6 km a lap where the average speed is over 300 km an hour, in other words, a sanctuary of speed and precise turns. Mario Kart 8's Big Blue is just that, a circuit inspired by the F0 franchise where speed and sharp turning is everything, not to mention it's one of the longest tracks in the franchise. Further the list is Melbourne, Australia, with her classic Albert Park. When people imagine a standard F1 track, Australia's circuit around the lake comes to mind. It used to be the first one of the calendar and is quote unquote beginner friendly, with its smooth curves and flat terrain. I think Yoshi's fall from the DS and later on the Wii best represent the track, both for the feeling when racing on it and because both racetrack encircle a great body of water. Coming right up is the first Italian circuit of the season, Emilia Romagna's legendary Imola, a track that goes around the central Italian region, reaching obstacles and elevation differences from turn 1 to turn 19. I struggled a bit to find a fitting track for this one, but ultimately I picked Shroom Ridge from Mario Kart DS. Aesthetically, the track is on spot, the elevation changes are pronounced, and the turns are trickier than ever. The Miami International Autodrome is going to be a new entry this year, and we have not yet seen races down in Florida. Looking at the layout, I can spot quite the turns and harpins, and everything will take place around the Hard Rock Stadium. So what better pick would I have gone with if not Mario Kart Stadium from MK8? Again, we saw no racing yet, so this is a bit of a placeholder based on location, turns and remarkability. I'll have to trust the FIA on this one. After Miami, we'll go to Barcelona, Catalonia, Spain. The circuit is known for the widest curves in the calendar, making racers change gear continuously over the spam of one single lap. Just looking at the layout, the public knows it's going to be a tricky race. A circuit that shares this feeling is GPA's Chisland, later released again on the Switch. Chisland is no joke when it comes to sharp turns and wide trajectories, that keep all carters on guard during the entirety of the race. Next up is Monaco, and well, do I need to introduce Monaco? The legendary Circuit de Monaco is the definition of Formula 1, and is one of the hardest race tracks on the calendars to race in. Monaco is a legendary that I already compared to another epic track in Mario Kart, Double Dashes, Nintendo DS and Mario Kart Ace Yoshi's Circuit. Yes, I know Wii Daisy Circuit exists, and yes, that track is directly inspired by Monaco, but when it comes to legacy, challenge, recognizability and the aesthetics, I cannot give the honor to others but GameCube's Yoshi's Circuit. I said this once with confidence and I'll say it again. Yoshi's Circuit is Mario Kart's Monaco. Monaco is not the only challenging city circuit on the calendar. Azerbaijan's Baku Circuit is quite a test for drivers too. Unforgiving sharp turns, the thin castle curves in turns 8, 9, 10, 11 and the long straights to gain unseen speeds Baku is always a challenge to race in. I can see Nintendo 64's Bowser Castle as a good counterpart. The track has very challenging turns, thin bridges and ramps to race in, and of course I couldn't miss the opportunity to insert a Bowser's Castle on the list when I saw Baku on the calendar. Montreal, Canada will make a triumph for my town in 2022 with her circuit Jules Villeneuve. Like Australia, I see this as a default track. Not a walk in the park, but where the challenge is in the consistency rather than in avoiding mistakes. SNES Vanilla Lake 2 could represent the Canadian Grand Prix in this regard. It is the only SNES circuit I've picked and I think it does Montreal justice. Going back to Europe, we find ourselves in Silverstone UK. Home to many F1 teams, England is synonymous with racing, and the old Royal Air Force Airport of Silverstone soon became one of the most loved circuits in the world. Due to the dynamic layout and rich history, Sunshine Airport suits the most to be defined as Silverstone's Mario Kart's counterpart. Both airports, both challenging, both a ton of fun. Austria follows suit with her Red Bull Ring in the highlands of Spielberg. One of the shortest yet most condensed action circuits, not to mention her pronounced change in elevation, is located near the Austrian South in the Red Bull's home nation. Mercar 7's Daisy Hills have a very similar aesthetic vibe to Stria, and the uphill and downhill sections do remind those of its racing counterpart. 
On the other side of the Alps, we find Renault's home in France and her somewhat infamous circuit of Paul Richard. Straight lines across the Provence Côte d'Azur, rich in speedy racetracks and curves that take races off guard, the French circuit is finding strength on the constant speed kept by racers. So does Double Dashes and later Wii's DK Mountain. This track is a constant downhill where racers go faster than usual and need to face multitude of obstacles and tricky turns. Next up is the Hungary Ring in, uh, well, Hungary. Known for being the standard track where somehow we always get to see the best race results. Not gonna lie, I had a hard time picking a counterpart for this one, but ultimately I went for the DS Mario Circuit. I feel that the overall layout is similar and that both present an intermediate challenge for cutters and racers alike. Following Hungary, we move to one of the best circuits in Formula 1 history, none other than Belgium's Spa Franco Chaps. Spa is perhaps the definition of what a racetrack should look like, and it's even the longest one on the calendar, with over 7 km of length. Due to historic status and marathonesque magnitude, the only MK track that will do her justice is Nintendo 64's Rainbow Road. <laughs> what can I say, Rainbow Roads are the symbol of all Mario Karts, and the N64 edition is the creme of la creme, and is the longest Mario Kart circuit of the whole franchise. Moving north, we find the Dutch Grand Prix held in Zandvoort, a circuit that only made its back in the calendar recently. Zandvoort has quite a unique shape in comparison to other tracks, and the best counterpart for it is GPA's Luigi Circuit. U-turns after U-turns, rain without tomorrow, no better circuit could describe the race in the Netherlands. A racetrack that nearly never missed a season is Italy Autodromo Nazionale Monza. The temple of speed by excellence, since 1950 it gave nothing but amazing races. We Luigi Circuit is a homage to Monza, and the two tracks share more than just the iconic layout. I could do a whole video comparing the two tracks, so much so that, uh, well, I already did. Link in the description, and somewhere around the screen. Such is up next, and to be honest, the only noticeable characteristic of the racetrack is that nobody likes it. <laughs> ok, ok, alright, to be fair, the Russian Grand Prix is not unbearable, and the semicircle down the middle does offer some original design. But negative opinions aside, I think the 3DS's Rosalina Ice World may capture those twisted curves and sharp angles, not to mention the wide turn at the beginning of both laps. From one of the worst to one of the best, Singapore's Marina Bay encaptures that vivid frenetic night street racing like none other. Racing in the streets of the South Asian city is a joy, and the layout with those close walls is unforgiving. Mario 7 and 8's Neo Bowser City, or Koopa City as it's also known, captures the Singaporean race at its fullest. Sharp and unforgiving turns after sharp and unforgiving turns, all painted under the night sky of the endless metropolis in the background. I think the video footage explains itself quite sublimely. Next up is Japan, and like I already did for Monza and Monaco, a comparison between Suzuka and N64 Your Raceway was already made in its own video. In a nutshell, from the layout to the challenge to the aesthetics, the two circuits made in Japan are the best counterparts to each other, and represent racing in both worlds are their peakest. The second Grand Prix in the United States will go from Florida to Texas and its famous Circuit of the Americas. The track has fast straight and tricky turns that led drivers to face off into beautiful battles for the championship. Wii's and 7's Scuba Cape does just that with intriguing design and memorability. Both layers present players with quite a challenge, and overall I would say this pick suits both tracks well. For the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez down in Mexico City, I had a hard time to pick a circuit that could encapsulate both the challenge and the speed of the racetrack quite well. But then I played Wii's and 8's Scramble Volcano, and I had my comparison. Both racetracks are incredible, and propose racers with often underestimated challenges. It's a bit hard to describe why these two are a match, but once you race on them, the feeling is much more pronounced. Second to last on the list is the legendary Interlagos Brazil. No description of mine would ever do her justice. Fast, precise, balanced, San Paulo has it all. It is quite a shame that it lost her privilege to be the final dispute. In my opinion, Wiz and Seven's Maple Treeway has the same level of quality Interlagos has, with a fantastic layout and gorgeous spectacles. Auto is not something that we may think of when we think of Brazil. But when it comes to popularity and balance, both are simply the best of the best. Last but not least, we have Abu Dhabi's Yas Marina, home to the most controversial race of 2021. While it's iconic for being the last race of the year, the circuit has some well-placed curves and chicanes, ready to trip over everybody who tries to surpass without prudence. Double Dashes and later 7 Daisy Cruiser comes to mind, since it has a similar layout, just up divided into two overlapping layers. Besides, have you ever seen the numbers of yachts in the bay? I think a cruiser ship would fit just in.
And there you have it, all 23 Formula 1 racetracks compared to Mario Kart circuits. Some comparison feels like hand in glove, while some others are a bit first in. But regardless, I hope you liked the full list and do let me know what changes would you make down in the comments. If you reached this part of the video, you are simply amazing and I thank you 23 times for watching today's video. As you can guess, I think I'll stop doing videos comparing one singular real truck with one singular Mario Kart circuit. The idea of comparing F1 and MK is super fun, but doing a video for every single circuit could be monotonous. What do you think? Did you like this new approach? Let me know your opinions down below, and until next time, have a wonderful day! Arrivederci!